Hi, Laura. Good evening. How are you? Hello, mister. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Okay. I don't, I haven't seen you in a couple of days, huh? I was here yesterday. Yeah, I didn't remember. Yeah. I don't remember seeing you louder yesterday. Claro que si, of course. <laughs> We talked about marijuana. <laughs> uh, you know what it is, is because I don't, I, 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 I haven't seen your, your image. That's why. That's what it is. It's the name because I remember the face. <laughs> ah. That's what it is. Uh-huh. That's what it is. And so what do you do today? Uh, I went to my job. Mm -hmm. to work then I went to the bank at the afternoon because they they are very they are crazy really at the bank mm -hmm. then I came home I went to the super in a flash okay. at five and then um I had a teacher's parents meeting so I was a uh, with the teachers of the little ones okay and then uh, the big one asked me if I could take her to the dollar city mm -hmm. to buy some things for art so I I took her and then I'm here <laughs> <laughs> a busy day huh Mm-hmm. It's amazing how fast the day goes by. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And how old is your, your child? I'm I'm kind of tired. Uh, tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, can. I, I, I am mm -hmm, I've been uh, getting up very very early for me. Mm -hmm. What time have you been getting up? At five. And uh, why is there a reason you're getting up so early? Yes, I have a new maid. Uh huh. So I have to like uh, leave the lunch, prepare lunch for my family. The maid doesn't uh, prepare the lunch. She's new, so I don't know if she if, if she, she knows, can mm -hmm. uh, if she knows how to cook or anything, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> that yeah. makes. Okay. Mm -hmm. When did she start with you? On Monday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only two days ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she still has a lot to learn, you know, or see in the house where the things are and what you like or how you like it. And oh, it, it takes a while. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that I, I, I have to leave early and mm -hmm. come back at the afternoon. So I can't help very much. So that's why I'm, I have to do a little bit of effort waking up earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the maid, the maid lives there with you or is only uh, during the day and then she goes home? No, she lives here. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult because of COVID. I'm kind of scared that she gets the virus in the bus. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit easier just to have her stay there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes a little bit Mr. easier. Yeah. The the schedule for the next level is always going to be at eight. Yeah, always the same time, eight to nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you want to? Did you want to change schedules or or what, Laura? No, because I don't know. 
I don't, I think you, right now there's no, no one for the, in the morning or afternoon. They have an afternoon, but I don't know if they have your level in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Because yes. I, I know they have a, a um, at a, one. At one, yeah, yeah, exactly. I know they have a class at one o'clock, um, but I don't know what level is the class at one o'clock. So mm -hmm. I think it's beginners. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because one of my uh, co workers is taking it. Oh. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. That way, so at least, you know, uh, somebody else is taking advantage of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you, hopefully a lot of people will be able to take their English classes and, and uh, you know, little by little, the, that's the idea, right? I mean, many people think, oh, I need to learn English, but really it's, something that people need to plan with years before that they're going to learn it. Yes, and it's, um, you need the language, really. <clears throat> it's very important to know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen a couple of times where people say, oh, I need to learn English this year. Mm, you needed to start it, you needed to start two years ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. and then that's why you know it, it, it's it's hard sometimes for for people who begin to understand how long it really takes to learn a language they say i ah, only in a few months and that's it or only a little bit of time and i, I can learn it no it's hard it's mm. really hard yeah yeah, yeah. and mm. if you don't practice you forget it the use of the verbs the adjectives all of that yeah, that's the heart. And Marcela and Jose, how are you guys doing? Hi. Hey. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Marce. Today was a good day, easy day. Yeah. You just study, right, Marce? Okay. No teacher, just English. Just the English class and that's it. And the rest of the day, what do you do, Marcia? Yes. Uh, I clean the house. I help my brother with, her, with his homework and uh, anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know, that's it, it. The important is to be active during the day to to do something. That's the the hardest part sometimes to try to make sure that everything you get done. Yes, mm -hmm. I try to to stay busy all day. That's a good something. idea. Something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. And really, there's, if you want to, there's a lot of things to do in, in the house, around the house. I mean, you know, watching videos, studying, uh, learning English. There's, there's so many things that you can do each day. So it's not a problem. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And you, Jose, how was your day? Uh, hello, teacher. Hello. My day was normal, teacher. Normal. Okay. The home, stay at the home. Clean Just that. The house, wash the dishes, the normal things. And how about looking for for the job? Is uh, any luck apply? Did you apply anywhere? Any anything new? Uh not not at all, teacher. Mm. New. I need to uh, to hold on three months. Three months. Why do you have to wait three months? Uh, when you fail the interviews, teacher, they always give you a feedback and say you can will be back in three months and you wanna try again, things like that, right? Yeah, yeah, but but I mean, is there's only one place you want to work, or 
No, I speak about the all the all the places that I try to try. Mm -hmm. If I speak, if I speak about concentric, I never try. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking so that's all. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I was thinking that you know you can apply to many many different places. Right, not only yes, not only to concentrics or TELUS or TP or um, all of these places, uh, Office Gurus, uh, Black Hawk. There, there's oof. In El Salvador, we are lucky. There are so many, so many different call centers where you can apply. Yes, teacher, you're right, teacher. But until I know, teacher, until I know, teacher. <laughs> Those places are like the basically call centers, right? And if I want to try one link, tell us the most popular, the biggest way I need to more feeling, experience and knowledge and fluency, you know, like right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there's, it, it's the, I know that sometimes they have, um, you know, like academies, like they have a Sykes Academy, or some other type of academy that can, um, they help you out also. Yeah, that's the problem, teacher. The people just say, it's Sykes Academy. Teacher. I never hear another academy. It's just ah. Sykes Academy. Really? In my experience, right? In my experience. Yeah, um, well, let like, me tell you, they, they had- You know, you know more, teacher. So yeah. That's meaning that you speak English more time, so that's meaning you know how it's the same here in Chicago and all that stuff. Yeah, they have, um, if you want to apply, they have Indigo Academy also, that's near Escalon. And they had, uh, they had four hours every day. Um, the training was for four hours uh, for three months um, with, the, with the job when you finish. And it included, the, uh, it included lunch. Um, so that way you would go there you would train for four hours a day with your English and also you would have a free lunch that way when you finish or, and they also have the one in the afternoon, they have a, a, a morning shift, an afternoon shift. They have, there's a lot of different academies. I know TP, so you, I, I mean, but it depends, right? Because maybe you don't have time to go four hours a day for the training. Look, teacher, look, teacher. It's mm -hmm. difficult sometimes, teacher. It's hard sometimes because some people know more than than one, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Because how much experience, they have more years practice English and speak with other type of people, you know, and repeat the things in the phone, how can I help you? How can I see to you, right? The whole down phone, you know. Yeah. Something is difficult and they improve his pronunciation and fluency. So obviously, the big bosses chose that kind of boys and girls. Yeah, it's true, it's true. But you know, uh, like you say, the, the, the important is not uh, to keep trying, the important I just is... try, teacher, I just try, teacher, like the skateboarding, right? One day I apply, maybe. There you go, there you go, one day. One yeah. day. Yeah. And that's the, that's the objective, right? The idea for continuing with these English classes is that one day, little by little, like what Laura said, and we were talking before, um, you know, if you keep going, keep going in one moment, you are going to finally, you, you're going to be at the level, but you have to begin and you have to continue practicing. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. We're going to go ahead and continue, even though, you know, it, it's, it's hard because if you notice, even in our class, we started this English class, I think it was around 20 people when we began. About 20 people. And look, every day, how many do we have? Four, five, uh, only a few people in, in, in the group. So you know, it's, it's what happens. Uh, Sometimes it's impossible for jobs or for work or, or, or different activities. You get home, the, the people in the family, things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm looking right now in the in the WhatsApp, and there are 21 people. So if I eliminate myself and the the administrator, yeah, they were we had 
uh, 16. There are supposed to be 16 in the class. And I don't remember the last time we had 16 people in, in the class. <laughs> Maybe only the first day, the first or second day. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead. We're going it, to, it's good because it gives us an opportunity to, to practice a little bit with our speaking. Yesterday, we were looking at uh, permission, prohibition, and obligation, if you remember. Um, we had a couple of words that we were using that were important. Uh, here is my screen. We used the words like uh, can't, able to, um, can't, aren't able to, uh, have to, to, take off your shoe. and have got to, if you remember those. Okay. They're the ones that are right there on your screen right now. And that was the idea that can is for permission. That means that it's okay to do. Prohibition means it's not okay to do. And we had, those were the antonyms, right? We use can or can't, or are allowed to, or aren't allowed to. And then the obligation was things that you have to do. It's like a responsibility or obligations, right? Now, and for those we use have, have to, or have got to, which are the most common words that we use. Um, this is from yesterday, but are there any questions about it? Any, any parts that are not clear? No. Okay. I guess everybody's quiet. That's how I, that's how I know when every, nobody speaks, I know. Okay. Or you don't understand nothing or you understand everything, but I assume you understand everything. So it's okay. <laughs> All right. So let me share one more time. Let's take a look at our next part. Okay. So in the next part, we have a knowledge check, right? And here we're looking at a couple of signs and rules. Um, I'll make it, let's see if I can make that a little bit bigger so that you can, uh, I don't like that size either. Let me try here. There we go. That's better. I like that size. All right. So let's take a look at those different signs and tell me, what do you think? What do you, what do you understand those signs are telling us to do? or happening in those things. The ones that have red circle are pro pro prohibited. Okay, that's right. Those are prohibited. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The ones that are, um, that doesn't have the red circle is permission. Okay, perfect. That means it's, yeah. So. That's the easy one, right? That, I think that's universal. The red circle is, is uh, prohibition. And when it doesn't have the red circle, it's permission. That's here um, in China, in the US, Canada, Africa, all of that. That is the standard for images, right? Now, what about that first image? What, what can you tell me? What do you think that message is trying to tell us? What's that first message? That it's pro uh, that it's prohibited to eat somewhere. Okay, great, great. Eat Laura. and drink. Eat and drink. And where do you think you would see a sign like that? Where where would something like that show up? At a bank. Okay. At a Dewey Center. Okay, at a bank. At a Dewey Center. Mm -hmm. At at um, classrooms. Okay, very common in classrooms also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the second image? Take a look at that second image. What, what do you think that's telling us? Turn on or turn off the light. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, probably something having to do with the light, right? So turn on, turn off. Okay. Um, make sure that that's where we have it. Maybe save energies. They're trying to say something like that. Okay, good, good idea. All right, what about picture number three? What's, uh, what's image number three telling us? No dogs allowed. Haha, <laughs> no dogs allowed. Yeah, right. And it doesn't matter what type of dog you can see. Yeah, it, there's a dog. And so if there's a red circle, no dogs allowed. Prohibition, that's right. Okay, now look at letter D. What, mm, that one's unusual. I've never seen that sign. So what do you think that means? Uh, 
it's like a door, right? So mm -hmm. could be, uh, for example, close the door. It could be, for example, okay. Okay, so maybe maybe it's close the door or something like that. Mm hmm. Because it's a very unusual picture. I don't, you know, it, it's it's hard to determine what that could be. What what is the message there? What else? What else do you think that could be? Close the door? Do you think it's open the door, or do you think what do you think that else, what else could it be there? I think, for example, in in an office, and you have an interview or something like that. And for example, in the hospital, when you you close the door in 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 this moment, right? When you when when you are in the interview, right? Okay. All right. So and that's a good that's a good I idea. Good idea. Look at letter E. Hmm. What do you think that is? That's very unusual. Uh, maybe uh, that's a window. Like May yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. It's like don't touch. <laughs> the window, don't open it. Okay, maybe don't touch the window, maybe don't open it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I see the idea of the window on the outside, right? You can see the outline on the outside. What do you think is that in the inside? What do you think are all those things on the inside? No, I think that's an old window because I was some. Uh, uh, when I was younger, when I was young, when I, I was worked, younger, when I was younger, I worked at a school, and I remember that the windows you used to open them like this. Okay. okay. So maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's. that's... Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So don't open the window. Maybe they have air conditioning. Something like that, maybe? Is that what you, why they would put it? Yes. Okay, all right. What about letter F? What do you think could be letter F? That's where, um you put your bike you don't see that here very much yeah you don't see it uh, i i've only seen it in san juan o pico that's the only place i've seen those and in san juan o pico they have a lot of them it's almost like europe they wow. have really really i went to san juan o pico and they have them um, a, a lot of those, and they also have uh, little racks where the people put them um, in, in another position also to, to save the space. So it's very interesting because I had never, in El Salvador, never seen so many people use bicycles, but they were really, really like, it, it's almost like renting a bicycle, hundreds of bicycles. So pretty interesting there. What about uh, the next one, letter G? What could letter G be? That's uh, put, throw, throw the, the trash here. Good, throw the trash here, throw the garbage here, right? Throw the rubbish here, all the same ideas. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes it's easier with pictures because sometimes the words mm, are different for each country or each culture, right? Americans usually say trash um, or, or garbage. Uh, British usually say rubbish, the same as Australians. So 
the picture is pretty easy to understand. It doesn't matter the language. Okay. And what about letter H? What do you think that is? Don't play soccer. Okay. Don't play soccer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Or, or sometimes they say, don't, don't use the ball here. Don't play with the ball. Things like that. Okay. So we can see that there are many times that the good thing about images is that in reality, they can tell us many things. Here we have eight sentences. Okay. So all of those are what we talked about there. So here is the, the first one is lock your bikes in the bike rack. Which picture would this be? Letter F. Letter F. All right. Great. What about no eating or drinking in the classroom? A. Okay, let's go with A. No playing ball in the hallway? H. H, all right. Try to remember those images. I'm gonna scroll down, okay. What about what here? What is hallway? Hallway is in the space between rooms. So if there's a door on the right and a door or a wall on the left, the place where people walk, normally like in the offices or in the schools, these are hallways. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, the next one is keep the door, the classroom door closed. Which one was that one? Keep the classroom door closed. D. D, excellent, all right. Um, what about no pets allowed? C. C, all right. Okay, let's take a look. Ah, it says no pet room, no pets allowed on, on campus. Okay, great. Throw all trash in the waste paper, waste paper basket. G. G, okay, yeah. And that waste paper basket um is sometimes called a garbage can, trash can, or rubbish bin. So we have many of those that uh, the same the same uh, idea, but just different names. Oh, you were right. Look at that. Don't open the windows. Which one is? Uh, louder. Oh, sorry, uh, e. Marcia. E. E. Okay. Good. And the last one. Turn off the lights when leaving. E. E. All right. So yeah, definitely we. Even without looking at it, we we definitely had a good idea of what those pictures are. And that's the great thing about images, right? That with images, we can identify and talk. It, it, we can understand. It doesn't matter whether we know the language or not. It's kind of a universal type of thing, okay? Now, exercise 410 is really a listening. Let me see. Um, okay, we still got only the three of us. But just checking if somebody else had come in. Uh, it looks like it doesn't. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play it. And then you tell me what you understand about it. All right. These are three conversations about driving. Okay. So let's listen to the three conversations. And then each person is going to tell me one of them. Okay. So listen. And then each of you is going to tell me what one of the conversations is talking about. You guys ready? Yes, because everybody's quiet. All right, I like it. All right. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Page 96, exercise 11. Listening. What's in a sign? Part A. Listen to three conversations about driving. Check true or false for each statement. One. Oh no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? $60. Two. 
two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Page 96. Exercise 11. Part B. Listen again. Which drivers did something wrong? One. Okay. So, before we listen to the next part, look at the three conversations. What's happening in each one? Oh, in one teacher in the first conversation, teacher is about than the people who is in whatever place, uh, they, they spend a lot, a lot of time in the place, so they need, they must pay six dollars for like, parking. Basically, the main idea of that. So they go there, spend a lot of time there, perhaps no is the necessary time that they need to spend, right? And they pay the six dollar park, or some police officer put up that parking ticket, right? Okay, okay, I said pretty close, pretty close. You have the you have the idea, a, a little bit of information wrong, but the idea is correct. Um, it's not because they spent a long time there; it's because they parked when is not the correct time. They parked before six. And there, they're only allowed to park after six. And the ticket was $60, $60. But th that is more or less the idea. The idea is that they're, they're parked in the place and it has to do with the time. Only the confusion was that it's not for being too long. It's because there is not in the correct time. Like um, in Paseo El Carmen, uh, in Santa Tecla, you are not allowed to park in the street on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays after 2 p.m. Or, or 3 p.m., something like this. So similar the idea. Mm -hmm. Good. In the second one. Okay. Uh, he's driving in the wrong line. Okay. And what is the lane for? Mm -hmm. uh, in the line, in the line who... He's driving is for buses and taxis. That's right. That's right. It's kind of like before in El Salvador when people would drive in the Citrams line, right? In, in the Citrams yeah. line, th this is only for the buses, but there they have for buses and taxis or other things. Good. And what about the third conversation? And, uh, oh, mm -hmm. and, and it's about the, and the second one is also about the park limit. Also about the what, Marcia? The, the park limit. Oh, okay, okay. The speed limit, the speed limit. The speed limit, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, they mentioned because at first they didn't know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about conversation three? What's what's going on in conversation three? Um, the other drivers were flashing their lights to warn uh, the driver because it, there was a a truck 
in the in the in 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 the line line lane lane uh -huh. lane uh huh okay all right and 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 first they thought that they, if they they were asking why uh, all the cars were flashing their their lights uh, they thought that they had the lights on also that's right but At then first, they knew first. that mm -hmm. they were warning them yeah 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 and it, it, it you're pretty good pretty good um Laura, but it is not about the a truck. It's that the police, the police the was police. a first. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like in El Salvador, that when there is a police, the people flash the lights. That way others know. Okay. Now let's listen to the second part of the conversation and see what else we can get or listen, um, listening to one more time. Okay. Let me try it one more time. Page 96. Taxis. They really should put up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Uh, wrong. One. Oh, no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? $60. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Okay. So, listening again that second time, it was easy to understand, the, get the information that we had, right? Where... We were looking at what information was right, what was wrong, and what they were talking about. Were there any words that you heard or think you heard that you're not sure what they mean? I heard a, a lot of new words. No, no, I don't know, but a few new words, but I knew what it meant because I could associate. Okay, all right. So yeah, there's a couple of words that they mentioned. Um, you know, they have a word, for example, they use the word fine, they use the word lane, right? Fine is one of the words that uh, in the first conversation you hear, oh, how much is the fine for, she says. And fine is like another way to say, how much do you have to pay? How much is the ticket? And that's the idea for the fine. Um, Many times it's not only for a ticket, but like at school, if you pay late, you have to pay $5 or $10 for paying late. This is a fine, right? That's, that's kind of the idea. Um, lane is different than the line. Line is what you make with a pencil and the lane is where the cars drive or where the cars go. And so it, you maybe sometimes you get a little confused, but the idea is that it's the word is with an A. 
lane. Were there any other words that you heard or conversations that you you that you say, oh, there was a word that I didn't hear in, or do you remember the context? Anybody else? Well, when they when they said the there's a patrol, uh, a patrol car. Uh huh. A patrol. Uh, car. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I I had like haven't listened to that word like for years. Okay, but so it's not you usually say the police, the cops, but not the, a patrol, como patrulla. Vea. That's right. That's right. That's the patrol car because that's the action. The verb, the verb is patrol, and that's the idea that they go around just like in Spanish, and that's the action. They're going up and down the streets, and so they have the same idea, the same meaning for patrol car. Mm -hmm. Good. Those were the three words that I that I the line no lane, lane? was super new. Okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh. Okay, good, good. Um, Marce, Jose, how about you? New vocabulary, everything was okay. It's okay. <laughs> all right, Marce, all right. Okay. Good, I see Jose got the finger, that's what I like. All right, easy to understand. <laughs> so there we go, that's the idea for those, for, for our lessons in that, in that aspect. So let's take a moment and discuss a couple of things that you do, or we're talking about driving. Um, first of all, do you drive? Can you drive? Do you drive cars? Do you drive pickups? Do you drive, uh, you know, uh, motorcycles? What, what do you drive or what can you drive? Okay. Um, just in case you're confused, many times people say um, uh, microbus, but uh, it's very common to hear the microbus as a shuttle bus or a van. The difference is that in El Salvador, um, microbus is anything that is for passengers. It's not specifically uh, a, 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 an actual microbus like they use in the U.S. or in Europe. In the US and Europe, they only use shuttle buses. And those shuttle buses are like the ones where you can stand up, you walk into, and then you sit down. That's the shuttle bus. Um, the van is where you have to like kind of go down, you, you step into it, you have, to cr uh, uh, you have to bend over, and then you can go to your seat. This is usually um, for families or for uh, small, uh, small groups. That's usually the van. And then the shuttle buses are usually big ones like hotels or airports or things like that. Okay. So in case you're thinking about uh, what you can drive or can't drive as well. So let's let's take a look. First, can, can you guys drive? Do you know how to drive? Never, Jose, never. Uh -huh. That's what I like about Jose. Jose practices his English so much on writing. That's what I like, Jose. Uh-huh. Is get straight to the point. Marcia, what about you? Can you drive? Laura, can you drive? No, teacher, I can't drive, but I would like to learn. Okay, what do you want to learn to, to drive, Marcia? Motorcycle, truck, bus, what, what? Shuttle bus, what? A normal car. <laughs> A normal car, okay, all right. That's it. All right. All right. And what about you, Laura? Can you drive? Yes, I can drive cars, normal cars. Okay. Uh, how do you say when it's a mechanic car? Okay. Manual in English, the manual cars. Manual car. mm -hmm. cars. Yeah. So you can drive manual cars. So then if you can drive manual, you can drive automatics. Yes. But, but the first time I drove automatics, mm -hmm. I, I almost crashed because when I, when you put the stops, mm -hmm. I, oh yeah, I was like, boom, <laughs> because I was, I was, um, 
how do you say, I was used to to the manual car and, and you have to press a, a lot more than when you drive automatic. Yeah, that's right. So you have, you know, you have to, you step on the pedal, you have uh -huh. the, the gas pedal, the brake pedal or the clutch. And when you, you stand on it and you, oh, maybe a little, you're like a cartoon going forward and back, right? Uh -huh, because <laughs> there are only two pedals when it's automatic. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, hey, where's the, the other one? <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't need it they said no don't worry about it mm -hmm. okay so, but i drive my my car seat okay all right yeah 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 i don't have a license for for a motorcycle but but i drive motorcycle i can drive a motorcycle i can drive a car pickups um i i have driven before shuttle buses also mm -hmm. um i i've never driven a bus the the you know, like a real bus or a truck, but, um, you know, I think that's fine. I, I, I would like to learn how to not drive, but it's called how to fly a plane. I would like to learn how to do that one. Mm -hmm. And the other one that I would like to learn is um, in the construction, I don't know why, but in the construction workers, those big machines, those cranes that they pick up the things and then they move them or I'd like to, you know, I'd, you know I think it would be fun just to go, ah, Ah, pick up the car and drop it or, or you know <laughs> something like that something like that uh -huh. well i i i would like to know how to drive a scooter because every time i put some gas or or there's a lot of traffic mm -hmm. i just wish i had a scooter and drive but i'm very scared so yeah i had a scooter that's how I, yeah, I, I used to have a scooter and they're so easy to drive, but so, so easy. Uh, do you know how to ride a motorcycle? I mean, not, I'm sorry, not ride a motorcycle, how to ride a bicycle. No, you've never gone on a bicycle, Laura? Again, the last time I was in a bicycle, I had the four wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's similar. It's similar to a bicycle, only that you go faster. But you know, you have the idea. The, the good thing is that in a scooter, everything is automatic. Everything is automatic. You don't have to worry like in a, in a motorcycle where you have your feet, your hands, your other hand, and all of these things that you have to do at the same time. In a scooter, only you, and you go. That's it. You start and you leave. The good thing is, you're right, Laura, they're really good for gasoline, really cheap, really, really cheap. Yes, the thing is that here we have people drive like crazy, so I think I'm going to be like a sandwich if I am in a scooter. Mm -hmm. No, but no, 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 the people respect the scooters. It's, the problem is that many people, many people that drive scooters don't respect the laws and they don't follow the laws and they see a traffic ah oh, a big line ah i'm going to go in between the cars and go there and that's so it's not it's not that the scooters are so much the problem because when you're in the scooter if you're in the middle the cars they respect they don't try to push you or pass you they you go and that's it but to be honest many times it's, it's not many times most of the times is the is because the the motorcycles or the scooters have gone in between or they try to go quickly and and cuts off or you know or they go really close to, uh, to the next car and that's another problem because if the, the cars can can stop very fast so if the car stops the motorcycle boom or the scooter hits the back of the car also mm -hmm. cool. also I, I see that when when they're in in motorcycle or or scooters um the there are some turns that uh, are they're not for u turns you know okay they are like for just turning and go straight mm -hmm. and they do a lot of u turns or they they do the u turns in the in the in the wrong lane mm -hmm. 
because the, that lane is for the ones that are coming and and and, the, and for being a motorcycle it, they use that lane to to do the, the turn, the turn. Uh -huh. yeah 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 so there's there's always all these tips of issues for you know it's it's prohibited it, it's you're not supposed to do it but even for buses if you ever see the buses the buses go in the other lane they they go in the opposite direction. I have seen sometimes where they even go where the people are supposed to walk on the sidewalk and they go up on the sidewalk and poof, they continue. So we have all of these things. Or they're making competition, one another. Very common, very common. But because in El Salvador, it's not public transportation, it's private, all private business. Mm-hmm. No. So what do you guys think? What do you think we should we should be doing in a Salvador? How can we, what are some of the things that we should be changing or allowing or not allowing? Like for me, really for me, I think that the buses should not be for private companies. I know that a lot of bus owners and, and, and people say, oh, they're business people. Yeah, but they they receive $800 from the government for each bus every month. $800 only as a bonus because that's the, the bonus that they receive. And, and the buses are in bad conditions. They have holes, the tires are horrible. And they, you know, it, it, they have a lot of smoke. They are, I, like Laura mentioned, they are in competition. They don't have restrictions. For me, it's easy. Stop all and all of the transportation is from the government. <laughs> Like the wild, wild west, it's these people, the fast bullets to the bus. Right? right, it is. You're right, Jose. It's like the wild, wild west. You go on the buses and they are going zoom, 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 zoom. zoom. And, and the, the bad or, or the worst part for me is that there is a moment where they're waiting and they don't move. They're in the park or in the place and they are waiting like 10 minutes and then they see in the mirror they see the other one and then yeah yeah keep the waiting for the light waiting for the green light right yeah the light yeah the eight miles to go the rain yeah yeah that's what happens so for me that's what i think one of the things that should change in itself lord what about sometimes, you guys sometimes it's funny sometimes it's funny but sometimes it's very dangerous yeah, some, and, and you're right, because I, I don't know, this, this last year, probably because of the pandemic, but um, the years before, always, always two or three times, you would see in the news uh, a bus uh, with an accident in Los Chorros, a bus in uh, the route to Sonsonate, a competition in San Salvador, and an, an accident, five people injured, or two people dead, or something like this. And for me, that's, a. I mean, it, it's, but the drivers don't think about it. They don't think, oh, I have 50 lives. They say, ah, I have a, I have a machine. And this machine I can use. See, really, they're a threat for all the people, especially when, when it's um, rainy, rainy days. Mm hmm because they don't do the main maintenance to the buses and if they fly or so they, they really think they're flying <laughs> if, they, if they have a a, a block that they, they don't see too much cars they go like Poof. Yeah. and then they stop and if the stops don't work boom yeah the uh, brakes yeah. if the brakes don't work mm -hmm. yeah and have you seen, I have been on the bus. You're right, Jose. There have been on the bus where they're going so, so fast and then there's the red light and they stop and everybody move. Everybody is like, you're, you're holding, but your, your feet are flying <laughs> in the air. Yes, people, yes, people. But sometimes they, they are drunk. I remember people. Yeah. I think the day two years ago, I went to stay to see the moon and all that. I remember I saw some driver drink, and I think it's 
And they go faster than to fly much. Yeah, they go they 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 go so fast and you're right, sometimes they're drunk. Sometimes they're they have uh drugs. They have been a couple of times where they have uh marijuana and uh, sometimes even cocaine. And for me, I am so surprised because the it's so expensive. And to be honest, the cocaine is expensive. It's an expensive drug here in the US and Canada. It's not like marijuana. Marijuana is cheap. It's not expensive or alcohol. I can understand alcohol. You buy one pilsner, but imagine cocaine. And these are bus drivers. They don't make a lot of money and they buy expensive drugs. No, mister. I have, I have Tell heard me. that you can, you can find cocaine as it, like everything. You, you can find it uh, with rich people and it very expensive. And you can find it in the, in, in the, in the projects, in the projects, in the projects, yeah, the projects. Yeah, the projects. Uh -huh. yeah but, but in El Salvador, so yes. look at, it's not that refinada. Uh, maybe. O sea, it's not the same quality. <laughs> Maybe, maybe you're right, Laura, because the cocaine, the, the cocaine, the drug is expensive. I mean, the, the drug itself, but you're right. Sometimes what they do is they put maybe not the same quality and they cut, they, they put more flour, more, I don't know, salt. I don't know what they put, but I don't so know. You like, can die, you can die uh, uh, quicker if you consume that kind of drug. Ah, uh, that's why only the good quality, huh, Laura? Only high quality, Laura. Ah, pues sí, <laughs> ah, sí. <laughs> no, pero digamos que it's the same. If you drink Tic Tac or you drink, I don't know. Chivas Regan is is different, uh -huh. right? Right? It's, it's different. It, <laughs> uh -huh. The two you get, the two you get drunk. The difference is the quality of the drunk. The two will, <laughs> will kill you, but one kills you first. Yeah, and one and the other kills you with with style, with elegance. <laughs> okay, no, I got it. I got it. So I know we did together the the listening, and we also did together the um, the exercise for the images. But remember to uh, you need to do those because those are stopping checks. You need to do those in the platform in your own. In your own account to make sure you advance. Um, today we are finishing. That's actually uh, for us. That's unit four completed. So if you haven't finished the previous units one, two, three, and the midterm, and now unit four, you need to go quickly because we only have five more classes. That's it. Five classes, and we finish. So it's it's pretty fast the the way that this progresses. The other is, um, have you already started the application for the next course? Remember uh, to fill out the documents and everything because <gasps> it's going to, if you fill it out late, maybe you have to wait one extra month or maybe the signature from the human resources or whatever, depend the companies. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of work to get done. Mm -hmm. So. That's all. I just wanted to to remind you to to remember to do those couple of things. Um, I don't know, Laura. Do you have any questions or any comments? No, no, no. Okay, Marce is good. Marce is good also. Jose, what about for you? Any questions or comments or anything? Uh, not at all. All right. All right. Well, if there are no questions or comments, you know, it, it, it is time for us to pretty much to pause here um, and, you know, have enjoy your dinner, relax a little bit, um, you know, remember high quality, only the high quality, like Laura says, you, whatever you choose, but high quality. <laughs> and we'll continue tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.